Hello everyone and welcome to another video of Reverse. Today we will be continuing the main storyline of The Haunted Highway and as you can see I pulled the Tuesday on the gacha. Uh, I, I was planning on maybe recording the gacha pose but I just kind of forgot and got her first try. Second try actually. Anyways, uh, if you don't remember, last episode we basically had the introduction to Tuesday and the crazy commissar officer from the uh, I don't remember what organization it was. Anyways, that's basically it. And I won't take any more of your time, and I'll see you at the end of the video. That man, Stefan, he clearly knows something. But he appears to be rather mentally unstable, and he's hostile towards me. Madame Z cautioned me on this. I must be extra careful when dealing with people like him. Should make sure I have a backup plan in place before proceeding. Still no sign of Lilia. in trouble. Hello? Hello? Um, is that Miss Tuesday? I think I know what this is. That's an R. E. S. P. O. Respond. Miss Tuesday? Yes, yeah, I have an announcement for you. There's a service outage going on in the area. Some critters nibble through the cables of a nearby signal tower, but all our internal phone lines are still running well. I see. It should be repaired soon since we share the signal tower with that armament factory. I apologize for any inconvenience this may cause. I'll bring you dinner up later. It's on the house. Thank you. 
There's something I want to ask you. I received a phone call earlier. Oh, Miss Kimberly was also prank called not long ago. I suppose it's a critter's doing. You know how mischievous they can be. And since they have decent smarts, they can play some pretty nasty tricks. I don't think that's what made the phone call. Mm, well, Miss Verton, this is what I understand be the truth. Is there anything else I can help you with? I'm good for now. Thank you. Spiders? Is that an arcane array? The pattern's familiar. I've seen it somewhere before. <gasps> yes, I've definitely seen this before. When I was in school. This is an extremely dangerous array. One that you are prohibited from using. It can go easily beyond the caster's control. We study Arcanum and tame it for our use. But once its power surpasses our limits, it is highly likely that it will lead to our own destruction. I need you all to remember that. It'll be in your next exam. Certain. Are you listening? The instructor just said it'd be in the next exam. If you like... You can check my notes. Oh, thank you. My mind was somewhere else. Why have they made it a key point of the exam if we can't even use it? I see. They didn't teach us about arrays so that we could use them. They wanted us to be able to identify them so that we could avoid danger. It's highly likely to cause an explosion or other severe consequences if I act too hastily. Lilia still hasn't come back. I must find someone else to help. Hey, we met back in the hallway, remember? Now it's your turn. What exactly do you want from me, miss? Well, it's simple. The person I'm looking for is right here in this motel. And I'm scouring every corner of it to find her. Look, missy. I don't want to make things hard for you. Name your price, and we can talk. If this person's gone to such great lengths to avoid you, perhaps she doesn't want to see you at all. Well, that ain't my concern, is it? A job's a job. Whether it's catching a cheating spouse, tracking someone down, or delivering a letter, it don't make no difference to me. Very well. 
but you'll have to look elsewhere, I'm afraid. There's no one but me in this room. Huh. <laughs> look, I know what I'm doing. How about you turn around and take a good look around the room? So you can knock me out as soon as I turn my back to you? <laughs> Missy, if that were my plan, I wouldn't have spent all this time talking to you. I much prefer to do my business pleasantly. I don't like to see things get too ugly. I see. Fine. If you don't want to turn around, I'll tell you what I see. You've burned your finger there. You should be more careful. This is... Don't look like a fire burn to me. What was it? Some arcane energy? Looks like this room has a couple secrets, too. So you touched an arcane array, and its power burned you. Now's that for a guess? Pretty close, huh? <laughs> this is my arcane skill. It allows me to see the traces that people leave behind. That's how I get these jobs, you see? Ain't nothing happening that don't leave a trace. If there ain't no trace, then it never happened. I came to your room to look for evidence, not a person. I see. You want to know whether the person you're tracking has been here, right? Now we're talking. Before I let you investigate the room, I have one more question. You take jobs from people nearby, don't you? Of course. It's obvious, ain't it? You seem more intrigued by my profession than my peculiar request. You're in trouble, ain't you? Then let me formally introduce myself. The name's Argus. I'm 26, and I have extensive experience as a mercenary. Let's make a deal. You may search this room all you like, and I won't say a thing. But in return, I'd like your assistance in my own investigation. How, exactly? Can you tell when that array on the cupboard was drawn? Less than 24 hours ago. In other words, this was left behind by the last guest who stayed in this room. Can't say for certain. Let's see what you've got in there for me. Hey, buddy! They just left her in a wooden box. What kind of safekeeping is this? Anyway, I don't have much time. I'll settle that with them later.
All right. At least they bothered to put a gravity ritual on it. Are you also preparing to evacuate? Ah, perfect timing. Are you in charge here? No, I'm not in charge of anything, Lieutenant. I'm just passing through. I'm Kyla, by the way. I heard some rattling here and thought some of those kids might have come back to steal weapons again. These things aren't cheap, and the kids know it. Kids stealing from the military? Huh, that's a new one. Where are the guards here? Oh, didn't they tell you, Lieutenant? The army stationed here started evacuating a month ago. There aren't many of them around these days. Evacuating? Then where can I find the soldiers that are still here? Hmm... You're new in town, right? Did you see a bar on your way here? That's where the Xeno soldiers spend their nights drinking. You might want to check there first. That's probably where you'll find him. Him? What does he look like? Like every other Xeno soldier. They all look the same to me. You'll know him when you see him. But I have to tell you, the Bard doesn't like outsiders. Have you heard of the Order of Enlightenment? It's an occult society. Very active these days. They were preaching in this town just a few days ago. Today is their day of prayer. And, um, what does that have to do with me? The bar you're going to is where they gather to pray. That's all I know. If you're going up there, please, be careful. Huh, thanks. May the sufferer watch over you. Great sufferer. By your decree, the glory of former days shall grace our present path. Great sufferer, by your decree, the glory of former days shall grace our present path. We dedicate our souls and minds to you. We seek the well-being of our people in your name. May the sufferer watch over you. Under the grace, may our cups overflow. To the sufferer! To the sufferer! Huh? Odd time for a stranger to come. No crashing the party, am I? Napa Valley, Californian Red, Kentucky Whiskey. Ha! There's a lot of good stuff here. One vodka, straight. The best you got. 
It ain't business hours, lady. Hey, all I did was ask for a drink. Is this how you treat your customers? As I said, we ain't serving you. Why? Don't you have vodka? Fine, I can settle for whiskey. Have to learn to take what we can get, eh? You ain't getting that either. Seriously? You don't have any whiskey? Pfft. I'm starting to understand why Zeno evacuated. What's the point of living in a town where there's no real liquor? Especially for those drunkards. What's a Xeno lieutenant doing here anyway? No alcohol fuel in that warehouse of yours? <laughs> <laughs> huh. You sure have some interesting drinking habits down here. But I'm curious. What did the sufferer promise you to make you all change your face? I mean... That's quite an achievement, especially here in Texas. Oh, so we're doing this now, are we? Look, I don't care what you're doing here. Just tell me where that Xena soldier went. What Xeno soldier? Don't play dumb with me. Oh, that soldier. He's a complete idiot, that one. It's obvious that Zeno has abandoned him, but he insists that they left him here because they believe that only he could keep the warehouse safe. Why are you looking for him now if you decided to ditch him in the first place? Listen, I can tell you guys aren't the biggest fans of Zeno, but that has nothing to do with me. I'm just here to get my stuff back. You insist on finding him. Try your luck on the outskirts of town. He might be drinking there. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks.
so yeah guys that was it for today's video uh, as you could see it was more of a progression of both the stories Lilia uh, Lilia is that her name trying to find the drunk soldier and Virgin basically trying to see what that mysterious array was for anyways if you liked it maybe consider leaving a like or subscribing to the channel as it helps me a lot with my motivation anyways i'll see you on the next one